My name is Bob Bellier of Mountain Boys Guitars. We're here in Quiz Pam City, New Brunswick, and we are going to walk through the process of making scrap box guitars. They look cool. Uh, I'm a music fan, so I, I, I like music. I like all forms of music. I like their connection to the blues. They're just this neat combination of function and aesthetic. Our neck of our guitar is going to be going straight through the box, so we need to notch this out. So now we've got a nice little U-shape in our box. We're going to use a coping saw. We'll take our utility knife and for, I hope to score that. So after a few cuts, you can just snap it off. So once you've notched out both sides of the box, you've got something that looks like this. Congratulations, you now have a stick in a box. What I've found with cigar box guitars is the majority of them are, are 24 inch to 25 inch scale length. I use a thinner board for my fretboard. The name Mountain Boys Guitars is a nod to my grandfather. I was fortunate enough to grow up next door to my grandparents and uh, we live slightly up on a hill, my brothers and I. We visited frequently, right, being neighbors. But when we would arrive, a lot of times my grandfather would say, you know, the Mountain Boys are here. When I started building these guitars, one of my first thoughts was this is something that my grandfather would have found really cool. So now we have a nice little channel that our uh, nut is going to sit in. I ordered myself uh, from online, an online company called CB Giddy out of New Hampshire. And they have these uh, fretting scale templates, um, which make the job of marking your frets so, so much easier. This is going to be a 25 inch uh, scale length. So we find our 25 inch scale chart and we just mark it where they've got it marked. We're going to use a wood burner to mark them. I first saw these actually at a farmer's market. Uh, but there was a lady there who was selling some products and she had two cigar box guitars that her husband had built. And I looked at them, I thought they were cool. Um, I thought they were something that was sort of approachable enough that I could build. I, I built two for Christmas presents that following fall and liked the process, liked doing it and uh, just kept going. So after a year's time, I suddenly had eight or nine cigar boxes just sitting around the house and I needed to, needed to find space for them, find a home for them, so uh, I kind of grew from there. Building these is totally uh, sort of a relaxation, sort of clear my mind kind of process. Um, what I'll do is I'll come out, I'll put some music on, I have a playlist on my phone that is titled Guitar Work, that is strictly for when I'm out here working. If it got to be anything more than that, I probably wouldn't do it anymore if it wasn't just sort of a thing to relax and, and fill my time with.